kind of a conflicted thing because it's a good product but hello everyone kayla here and this is what the kink a natural hair channel where i share my personal hair journey and tips tricks and product reviews to help you with your own in today's video it's a product review of nurture hair care specifically their nurture water locking gel of course um, this particular product has a sister a big sister and so we are going to talk about it because i know that some of you guys are aware of it and you're gonna want to know what is the comparison like and as they say comparison is the thief of joy i hate to do it but i know that that's what you guys are going to wonder about if you have no idea what i'm talking about there was a um youtuber on here called her natural beauty three she became a hair salon owner her name is Rhonda. She came out with her own product called Hydra Curl Former. By the way, the salon is called Hydra Bar Salon. It's in Coral Springs, Florida, I believe. But anyway, Hydra Curl Former. Well, of course, um, Rhonda split ways with the other owner of Hydra Curl Former. That product is still out there. Um, it has been rebranded and all that kind of stuff. And I believe I did update all the links on my old videos that do feature Hydra Curl Former because it's a little different now because there is different management and a different owner so for a period there Rhonda was focusing more on the techniques and how to care for hair um, with the pages that were associated with her salon and then she finally came out with in the last couple of months she finally released to the public because she was working on it for a long time the of course the nurture product and it is still um even though it is different, it does not have the same ingredients as the Hydra Curl Former, it does work on the same principle, that whole water locking thing that she preaches and preaches. Um, it's the same thing, the same concept. So um, I know that comparisons suck, but we will be making them a little bit throughout this video. Okay, so the products, uh, price and size, what do you get? This product retails for $29.99. Currently, it's available on a page on the Hydra Bar Salon uh, website. I'm assuming they'll probably have their own website soon. But for $29.99, you are getting a six ounce product. So, of course, if you've done the math really quickly, it is roughly $4.99 per ounce for this product. And I ain't gonna lie, that is probably one of the most expensive hair products that I have ever tried. I typically don't go beyond maybe $2 an ounce to give you kind of an idea of what is expensive in comparison. So this is $4.99 an ounce. We ain't playing with you. Give me the money, okay? So let's check out the ingredients. The first five are is water, glycerin, polyacrylate's 14, glycerol, polyacrylate, and PVP. And if you were clocking it, Three of those are things that provide hold and they're in the top five ingredients. So this gel does have, I would consider it to be a pretty strong hold. It does produce a cast. You will be wearing your hair for a while, okay? Three day washers beware. <laughs> the rest of the ingredients, I wouldn't say that this product is particularly natural or botanical in any way, but I'm not someone that cares about that. Particularly, I, I mean, I don't think it's bad to not use botanicals. But I will make a point about the PG, PEG 12 dimethicone in here because I know some people will see that and be like, ah, horrible. But it is a um, modified cone. So it is the type that will rinse off your hair. So it's, it's not the kind that's gonna build up and create a coating on your hair if that is what you're concerned with. So those are the ingredients. Um, there is an ingredient called fragrance. And so I do wanna make a point about the fragrance or not really a point, but just kind of tell you guys about it. When I open this up, the fragrance is giving very much good smelling sunscreen. Uh, the fragrance is reminding me, like it must be dead on. If I had a container to smell it, I would do it, but it's discontinued. Yes to Carrots leave-in conditioner. Yes to Carrots is discontinued. They don't even make the line. Yes to doesn't even make Carrots line anymore and they don't make the leave-in anymore but it had a certain smell to it that is very similar to the smell that is in this product and I'm here for it. I like it. I also use a deep conditioner that kind of had a grapey type smell prior to styling my hair with this and that smell is mixing with the smell of the gel and together I think it's very pleasant and yes here on day four I can still smell it. My hair is still very fragrant. The texture is very much like honey or agave syrup. When you dip your hands into the product there's gonna be long um, 
strings of product. Like I found myself doing things like trying to wrap my <laughs> hand like this, trying to make sure I could break all the cords of product. And then I was like very careful as I was rubbing my hands together using the product because this is a more liquidy, watery product than the previous, the Hydra Curl Former. That product is very much like firm. Uh, this one is liquidy, extremely liquidy, which I think from a user friendliness perspective, that's more user friendly for it to be a liquidy gel. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut to a clip where I'm talking through the use. Let me know if you guys like that, but that's what we're gonna do. So I usually voice over the demo and I usually wait until I've like done like almost all of my hair so I know what I'm doing by the time I film. But I say, you know what? Mm -mm. We gonna actually film this with me talking, so let's gonna add time onto the video. First of all, I'm gonna uh, re-wet my hair because I was filming a deep conditioner video to come out later this month. So I'm gonna re-wet my hair even though my hair is dripping and I literally just stopped hitting record and then hit record for this. But we're gonna do it anyway. So y'all know, first off, I like to go over the whole section, but my hair is really thick in the back, so I always clip half of it up because it's just too much hair to actually expect it to do anything. Now the nurture, I'm nervous, okay? It kind of sticks together. Let's cut the threads. <laughs> We're not using too much of it. Ooh. See, I heard people say that when you rub your hands together, this kind of expands a bit. So that's what I'm trying to do. So y'all can see, it doesn't turn into a cream like it's, um, big sister but it does it does feel like it's thick Ooh, ooh, and I am getting it from root to tip now its predecessor needed to have water added to it after you apply it so I'm just gonna do a little bit of that and see before I decide if I want to put more on this section because I feel like it's doing quite a lot with that amount that I put. It's just the very roots, I'm like, eh. But I'm like, I might hit them during the rest of the application, so we'll see. Just a little bit more. Okay. It's not foaming up like, like the predecessor. However, however, I do feel like it just added slip though and I got a little further up my hair. So I'm actually not gonna add more product. though um, because I feel like when I go through and actually define the sections I feel like the roots will get product but this is what we're working with so far and then let's do the top part so we'll take this clip put it down here and get the top part again I'm going in with about the four fingertips because this is a expensive product <laughs> for the size and it does kind of blow up when you when you do this. I don't know what other way to explain what it's doing when I rub my hands together. Other than it's just, it does kind of seem to thicken almost. There you go. It's, it seems to thicken a bit. And then it does spread pretty well onto my hair. And then the water to give it just a little bit more of a slip. Yep. So it's still every bit as water activated as the previous product, but it's not behaving in the same way, which I wouldn't expect it to be just the same because it has different ingredients. It's formulated different. I know this hair is probably in y'all's way. Let's see. Okay. This is also why I tend to style towards the end of the style too, because I'm working on the front of my hair. It's easier to see. Okay. So now we see that my hair has significantly <laughs> decreased in volume. So something is on there. All right, so now I'm gonna start breaking into the roots because we know good and well that an application of this product with my hair being as thick as it is, you know ain't nothing on these roots. <laughs> you know ain't nothing on these roots. So I'm gonna get the roots. We'll roll with the mistake. I'm gonna get the roots and I'm going to, um, and I'm gonna define my hair. Now listen, less product, like half the amount, way less. Roots really pressing it into the roots and getting it in there. Really smoothing the hair. Okay. 
in these videos, y'all usually don't get much of the rhyme and reason behind my technique either or how I'm styling my hair. Listen, if it adds too much time, if the girls don't like it, we won't do this again. <laughs> we'll just voice over. We'll voice over for the people. Okay. Uh, it's done something. Yes, I'm on my tiptoes, y'all, but I don't want to zoom out too much because then the scene gets too big and then the hair is like a small speck on the canvas of what? <laughs> okay. I feel confident in the method that I've chosen. Um, I'm just curious to see how much product this particular method of application is going to use. I, you know, I'm not in denial. When I do my hair, I do realize that my hair is very thick. It would be considered high density by most. And then on top of that, um, and then on top of that, it is long. So I am already, I mean, I tell you guys, I always tell you guys how much product I use, but just be aware that you don't have to use as much product as me, because if you, if you have less hair than me, then you will not use as much product as I use. So there's that, honey. So we're going to really put it to the test today. How much are you using of this on really long hair? Which... I think I have seen Rhonda use it on her hair, and if I, if memory serves me, I think, I think Rhonda's hair is got got some inches on it. She don't straighten it very much or anything like that for me to know, but I think, I think Rhonda got inches. I wonder how much she uses on her hair. All right, another reason I don't do the back of my head on these videos is because it takes longer. Oh my God, the amount of footage I just got. So this is what it looks like so far. And I am gonna add just a little bit more water for the slip um, because the product that I applied, the roots didn't get the extra amount of water, you know what I mean? So I am going to do it. Now, of course, I'm not expecting it to look like the hair looks coming out of Hydro Bar Salon because that's a very particular technique that they use that involves like a brush and all this. And so it flattens the hair and smooths it at the same time separating it. I don't do that. Just that extra little bit of slip and less tack that I want from this. Oh yeah, but I think it's pretty decent, y'all. Pretty decent. Okay, Rhonda. Okay, Rhonda. <laughs> I'll still okay, Rhonda, depending on how much of this product I end up using, though. That's what we really need to see. So I found the use, like the actual practice of using this product was actually very similar to using Hydro Curl Former. If you're not familiar with how Hydro Curl Former works, again, here's those comparisons. You take this really thick, almost not spreadable product, you rub it together, you apply it to wet hair, it turns into a cream as you're doing all that. And then once you wet the hair again, the cream then turns into a foam. And that's how you, you know, then you start to rake through and style your hair however you wanna do it. Mechanically, I had to do the same thing with this product, except it's liquidy, it's serum-like, you rub your hands together and it turns into like a thicker serum. And then you put it on and then if you wet it the serum just is now more slippery than it was before it's not necessarily a foam the foaming effect is, is so slight that i wouldn't necessarily call it a foam this va this basically has more of a serum like experience when you're applying it to the hair um than with its big sister past cousin auntie them now the results before we get into the results clip clips I want to make it clear that my hair does not look like the hair done at the Hydra Bar Salon. And it will never look like hair done by them. Let me tell you that I would say the results at Hydra Bar Salon are about 60% technique and 40% the product. It may, may be 50-50 if we're being generous, but there's a very distinct technique that they use to do the hair at this salon, so much so that if I come across an Instagram pic and there's nothing around it, like it's maybe on the For You page or whatever that's called, Explore page, I know that that's hair from Hydra Bar Salon. Like, I can tell 
because of their technique. And in fact, in between Hydra hair care and Nurture hair care, when she was just using products that are available in the drugstore and Sally Beauty in them, the hair looks the same. <laughs> so there's a technique to it, okay? So I'm gonna show you my results, but my results very much just look like my hair looks when it's super defined because I don't do the technique that they do. here at day four uh the gel cast um i'm not bothered by a gel cast i never really have been it is a firm but flexible cast like you can see like i can still do whatever i need to do with my hair but it's still definitely a cast on here okay um a firm but flexible is the best way that i know how to describe it uh i did sweat the roots out really bad um my husband and i went to a pho restaurant the restaurant was hot i get hot when i eat so that Two, those two things combined and I just was sweating so bad my whole scalp was wet when I left the powder there as you can see um, it is well I don't know if you can see but it's definitely more soft at my roots because I believe that the cast has broken but of course that was an extreme situation um, that I would not normally be in and my hair definitely has enough definition that I know that this could be easily a seven day eight day maybe in a double digit day situation it is a very long lasting gel I can already tell um, if you're someone who washes your hair every three days, I probably wouldn't do that with this. Just because it's giving, it's giving long lasting holds. It's giving wear your hair like this for a while. And I wouldn't want you to waste your money like that. So I, you know, all in all, I really do like my hair with this product. I think that it does look good. Um, I'm enjoying the little sparkly sheen that it gives. I like the scent. I like the movements. I like the weight of my hair, the overall weight of it, um, and I, I I like the 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 firm but flexible gel cast. It is a nice product. Rhonda has done her thing and she's put it together. But in the end, if I'm deciding if I want to repurchase this, the price tag on this just called me broke. It, it really did. Um, I am blessed to be in a place in my life where I can afford this product at its marked price. And I understand that the price is mainly due to the fact that it is a small time operation. She is getting it up and running, probably production cost, packaging, shipping, all of these things are causing it to cost what it costs. So I'm not unreasonable. I also feel like everyone will pay for something at any price point. There is always somebody that will pay it. So I never complain about a price and make overarching general statements about prices because somebody will pay that. And if you broke, just say you broke. <laughs> I'm just, keep it real, you know what I mean? But for me, it is going to deter me from purchasing it again until the price goes down. Also, we need to make a note here that I have very long, very thick hair. Don't be fooled by the fact that I do not stretch my hair out. It is long. So I am autom automatically going to use more product than the average person is going to use. I will say that I am excited about the fact that I typically use four to six ounces of gel. And for this, I only use three. So I use less than I normally would and got just as much definition as I could normally get. Um, but I had to use half the container. So I can only get two wash and goes out of this, but I, but I paid $30. So that's just a deterrent for me. If you have less hair than me, you'll probably get more uses and it'll probably be a little bit more worth the money uh, for you. Kind of a conflicted thing because it's a good product, but 
lit the price the price anyways guys um if you enjoyed this video definitely um support my channel you know what i mean do the use use a thumbs up down there if you really really liked it and you want to help me get my 30 dollars back you can hit the applause button <laughs> i'm just kidding y'all i can afford the gel but sometimes we gotta make jokes in life right um youtube is recommending some content over there go ahead and check it out and subscribe i post videos every week and i'll talk to you in the next one